up above the streets and houses, rainbow climbing high. Everyone can see it smiling over the sky. Paint the whole world with a rainbow. Now then, Bungle, which is the odd one out this time? Uh, I know, I know. Oh, wait a minute, Zippy. It's my turn. <laughs> oh, hello. Do you ever play games like this? It's the odd one out game. You look, we've got three things on the table. Now, two of them are the same, but one of them is different. Which is the different one? Uh, 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 shall I tell you, Bungle? Oh, no, Zippy. It's the banana, isn't it? That's the odd one out. There are two red apples. They're the same. And one banana. Very good, Bungle. <laughs> Did you get it right? Mm. Let's try another one, shall we? And I'll use veg vegetables this time. Oh, yes, that's good. Oh, 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 oh yes, yes. Uh, get this right, yes. I I'll get it right. I'm Oops. sure I will. Wait, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There we go. Because, uh, who's, whose turn is it, Jeffrey? It it's mine. No, it isn't, Zippy. It's George's. <laughs> oh, oh, well, he won't know. Uh, so I'll tell you. Uh, the odd one out, Jeffrey, is the cauliflower. Oh, <laughs> yes, well done, George. <laughs> You knew what I was going to say, didn't you? Did you get that one right, too? Well, let's have one more go. And it really is your turn this time, Zippy. Oh, oh, oh God, oh, thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Jeffy. Uh, you just watch this, because right, I shall really get it right so easily. Uh -huh. <laughs> I wonder what it'll oh. be. Oh, yes, yes, very well, easy, then. this game is. I wonder if you get this one right. Uh, yes, uh, uh, mm, oh. well, well, come on, Zippy. Which is the old one out? It, it, ah, it's, it's well, um, yeah, you... <laughs> Don't you know, Zippy? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, well, of course I do. I I'm just thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> Are you thinking about it too? <laughs> now, which one is different from the other two? I think it's the rough one. The one that feels a bit rough, Bungle. Yes, George, the one that's longer than the other two. And the other two are a different shape from the long one, aren't they? Uh -huh. uh, you mean, uh, you mean, uh, that one? Yeah, yeah uh, that's the odd one out. Yeah, the bean. Yeah, it's different from the two peapods. <laughs> you are clever, Zippy. You got it right. Uh, yes, well, I mean, I knew I would, yes. Lumbering lollipop, Zippy! We told you! Oh. Did he manage to get it right as well? The beam was the odd one out, wasn't it? Well, anyway, I'd have known if you'd opened them. Uh, peas look different, don't they? Uh, the peas inside are small and round and green. Yeah. Well, let's see if Zip is right, shall we? So I'll open out the pea pod. Yeah, let's open it up. <laughs> yeah. See? Inside the pea pod, there are small and round and green peas. Yeah. Now, I'll open out the bean, shall I? Oh, yes, that's a good idea. Oh, yes, oh, look, the see? beans are a different shape. They're a different colour, too. Yeah, but, but they're both vegetables, aren't they? Yes, that's quite right, Zippy. Why not? Let's have a look at the greengrocer's shop we saw the other day. Now, see if you can all remember all the different kinds of vegetables. Here's the outside of a greengrocer's shop. Look at all the different vegetables piled up in boxes. The shopkeeper's putting the prices on them all. There are cauliflowers. And Brussels sprouts. And there are some peas. You can see the peas inside the pod. Here are spinach leaves. And here are some beans. We saw beans being picked in the vegetable garden the other day. I expect you know what they are. Yes, they're carrots. And those are radishes. And those are leeks. That's called sweet corn. And those big stripy things are marrows. All these can be bought in the greengrocer's shop. Now a girl comes inside the greengrocer's to buy a cabbage. It's weighed. 
and then it has to be paid for before she can take it home. Beans and peas grow above the ground, don't they? Oh, yes, Bungle. I'd forgotten about that. Some vegetables grow above ground and some grow below ground. <laughs> Potatoes grow below the ground. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Potatoes, carrots, onions, radishes and turnips. They all have the bit we eat growing below the ground. Yes, and cabbages, cauliflowers, beans and peas have the bit we eat growing above the ground. Well done. You're remembering a lot today. <laughs> Had you remembered about vegetables that grow above the ground and vegetables that grow below the ground? I we talked about them the other day. I remember, Geoffrey. Oh. Yes, Bungle, well done. I wonder if Jane and Rod and Roger are going to sing one of their vegetable songs today, Zippy. I thought you were going to ask me to sing, George. I'm a very good singer. Much better than Rod. I know all about vegetable songs. Carrots, cauliflowers, beans, onions, beetroot, sprouts, turnips, and radishes! Not today, thank you, Zippy! <laughs> oh, poor Zippy! <laughs> Oh, we've got a shop in the marketplace, we work here every day And if we see you passing by, this is what we'll say Cabbages and cauliflowers are very good for you Like celery and carrots, you all know what to do Just crunch them, munch them, have some fun, it's the only way You'll feel fine all the time if you eat some every day Morning, Mr. Grocer. Morning. What a lovely day. I'd like a pound of turnips and some beans to take away. Oh, cabbages and cauliflowers are very good for you. Like celery and carrots, you all know what to do. Just crush them, bunch them, have some fun. It's the only way. You'll feel fine all the time if you eat some every day. Oh, may I have a lettuce? Oh, yeah. And a cauliflower, please. Is that the lot? No, I forgot. And half a pound of peas. Oh, cabbages and cauliflowers are very good for you. Like celery and carrots, you all know what to do. Just crunch them, munch them, have some fun. It's the only way. You'll feel fine all the time if you eat some every day. You'll feel fine all the time if you eat some every day. Now, let's see what else you know. Now, some vegetables grow below the ground and some vegetables grow above the ground. But where do we get them from? Oh, that's easy, Geoffrey. Is it bungle good? Do you know where we get vegetables from? Farmers grow them. Yes. And when the vegetables are ready to be eaten, the farmer puts them on a lorry and sends it off to market. And when it gets to the market, Geoffrey, the vegetables are unloaded again and piled up to wait for a greengrocer to buy them. And then, when a greengrocer has bought them, they're put onto another lorry and driven off to his shop. And that's where we get them from. We buy them from the greengrocer. Very good, all of you. Farmers grow vegetables and greengrocers sell them to us. 
I wonder if there's a greengrocer's in Swallow Street. Oh, 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 yes, I, I was wondering that. Yeah, well, of course there is. Uh, there must be. Well, let's find out, shall we, Bungle? You watch. Mr Grindle, the greengrocer, is carrying a sack of potatoes out of his shop. Barney's coming in. He's carrying a sack too. Oh dear. They've bumped into each other. E now then, now then. Steady lad, says Mr Grindle as he falls down on his bottom. Sorry, says Barney. But why are you carrying that sack out, Mr Grindle? I've only just brought it in. Because we're going to paint today, Mr Grindle says. Barney looks fed up. Are you going to paint the shelves? he asks. Paint everything, says Mr Grindle, picking himself up. You mean, take all these things out? Barney says, looking round. Aye, that's what I mean, Mr Grindle says, picking his sack up again and trundling out. Barney picks up his sack too. Now they're both rushing about, taking all the carrots away, and the cabbages and onions, and apples and oranges. Right, now we can start to paint, says Mr Grindle. Barney quite likes painting, so he cheers up. What colour shall we paint it, Mr Grindle? Mr Grindle scratches his tummy and thinks. Eee, well, uh, there's only one colour for a green gorse, eh? Green, of course. So Barney gets a tin of green paint. puts it on top of the counter and starts work. Mr Grindle paints as well. It takes nearly all day. Because Mr Grindle doesn't work very quickly. They've finished now. Or almost. Barney's forgotten to paint the circle under the tin on the counter. Oh, good. He's remembered. That's better. Well done, says Mr Grindle, leaning on the counter with one hand to give himself a rest. Thank you, Barney. He looks very smart now. The smartest greengrocer's shop in Swallow Street. Mr Grindle puts his hand to his face to have a yawn, because he really is quite tired. And he sees his hand all covered in green paint. He well... He laughs. I am a green grocer, aren't I? Our vegetables. And then we'll eat them. <laughs> Farmers grow them. Greengrocers sell them. We buy them. And cook them and eat them. Uh, yes, so now we'll eat them. Ready? Right, everybody get ready to join in. <laughs> eat, eat, eat away, we're going to eat all day today. Eat, eat, eat away, we're going to eat all day. <laughs> again, again. <laughs> yes. Eat, eat, eat away, we're going to eat all day today. Eat, eat, eat away, we're going to eat all day. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got to go now, but next time you're in a greengrocer's shop, have a good look around. For all the vegetables we talked about. Have fun and we'll see you soon. Bye. 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 Bye.
stretch and jump. And they stretch and jump. And they stretch and jump. And they stretch and jump. Watch how the giraffes have to stretch their neck right down to the water. They have to stretch their legs wide apart too. The children are stretching their legs apart. This elephant is stretching his trunk. She's pretending to be an elephant stretching. Here are lions stretched out. They're asleep. They look very comfortable. The children are pretending to be asleep too. Now morning has come and you wake up and you give a big yawn and you stretch your arms and your legs. Still feeling sleepy. Stretch. Jeffrey, I'm going to stretch this lump of plasticine. Yeah, I bet you can't. I bet I can then. Oh. Well, do you think Bungle can stretch it? Let's see. I'm going to roll it out and stretch it into a long sausage. Oh. Look, then it's stretching out. <laughs> oh, Bungle, it's like a worm now. <laughs> There, I told you I could stretch it, Zippy. Go away, go away. I don't like worms. Go away. In the tree there's an apple that's big and round But it's too far above the ground That's a very high place for an apple to be For someone who's as small as me Don't give up, you can do it if you try Stand on your toes and stretch up high if you stretch just a little bit more, you'll reach up further than before. I'm putting a picture on the wall, but it's too low, cause I'm too small. I wish that I could grow and grow, and put it as high as I want it to go. Don't give up, you can do it if you try Stand on your toes and stretch up high If you stretch just a little bit more You'll reach up further than before I'm painting the door but I'll have to stop because I just can't reach the top I've got no ladder and I'm too small Oh how I wish that I was tall Don't give up, you can do it if you try Stand on your toes and stretch up high 
If you stretch just a little bit more, you'll reach up further than before. You'll reach up further than before. It's all right, Zippy. You can come back. The worm's gone away now. Uh, are, are you sure? Mm. You're quite sure, Zippy. <laughs> All right then, here I come. I thought you were stretching your arm out, Zippy, further and further. <laughs> so did I, George. There's a stretching story in the rainbow book bungle. Shall I try and find it for you? Oh, yes, please. That's a good idea. It's called The Monkey in the Tap. And this is how it goes. Hello. Someone at the zoo left a tap running and none of the animals could sleep because the water made such a noise going splish, splash, splatter, splash all night long. At last the elephant said, I'm very clever. I know what to do. Um, I'll drink all the water up. Then there won't be any more noise. So he walked slowly to the tap stretched out his long trunk and had a big drink. But the tap kept on running. Splish, splash, splatter, splash. Then the giraffe said, Hmm, I can drink more than you, elephant. I'll show you how to stop the noise. And he walked to the tap too, stretched out his long, long neck to the water and drank and drank and drank. But still the tap kept running. Splish, splash, Splatter, splash. Then a bird with a big beak came along. It was a pelican. Wah! I can drink more than either of you, he said. And he stretched his big wings and flew to the tap. Then he opened his beak and let the water pour in. But even he couldn't make any difference. The tap kept on running. Splish, splash, splatter, splash. So then a little monkey came along. I'm the only one who knows what to do, he said. I'll soon stop the tap running. But the other animals didn't believe him. He wasn't as big as they were, so he couldn't possibly be as clever. They just laughed at him and stood in the way, so that he couldn't even see the water or the tap. But he could hear it all right, going splish, splash, splatter, splash. Well, I do know how to stop it anyway, he said. And he clambered up onto the elephant's back. Then he leaned forward, stretched out one of his long arms, and turned the tap off. The water stopped running straight away. Ee, there, said the monkey. I told you so. Who, <sighs> said the elephant. I stopped the water by drinking so much. Oh, no, said the giraffe. I stopped the water by drinking so much. No, no, said the pelican. I stopped the water by catching so much in my beak. But I know who stopped the water running, really. Don't you? I'm being the elephant, look, stretching out my trunk to reach the water. That's smashing, Bungle. Can you do that as well? Come on, let's try it. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, can you guess what I'm going to be now? You watch. Oh, oh. You, oh, oh uh, I know, Geoffrey, I know. You're being the giraffe, aren't you? Stretching your neck to the water. Yes, that's right, George. <laughs> yes. Now I'm the pelican, stretching out my wings to fly to the water. Let's all stretch out our arms like wings and pretend to fly. <laughs> 
Uh -huh. uh, hey. uh, oh, now, uh, I'm being the monkey stretching out my arm. Hey. <laughs> hey. Oh, hello, Roger. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. 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 Oh, let's play the stretching game that we had in the beginning. Oh, oh, all right, yes. if you like to, we can all play it. I'm sure you know the words, don't oh, you? Yes. yes. <laughs> Go on, let's all do it, shall we? You remember what you got to do? You got to stretch your arms high into the sky and stretch up on your toes too. Oh, like this, Geoffrey. <laughs> oh, oh, that's very good, Jane. Uh -huh. <laughs> Isn't it, Bungle? Mm. Oh, anybody <laughs> can do it. Uh, come on, let's sing. Well, ready then. <laughs> One, yes. two, three, four. Up I stretch on my tiptoe, down to touch my heels I go. Up again my arms I send, down again my knees I bend. <laughs> oh, we got to go now. Have a good time, won't you? We'll see you very soon. Bye. 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 Bye.